everyone, welcome back to the channel. Something a bit different today. We've taken a drive out about two hours outside of Los Angeles and we've come to Calico, which is an old silver mining town that's now been declared ghost town. Uh, when everyone, when all the miners moved out back in the olden days, it says it's lost its hustle and they declared it a ghost town. So yeah, yeah it looks really cool. It's all like, it all got redone, I think it said in the 50s. Mm. Um, everything's been put back how it would have been in them days. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a look around and uh, see what there is to see, but it looks really cool already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got our little visitor guide and map as well about everything that's on. All the attractions and a little bit of history. And it was $8 per person to come in. Yeah, that's not bad. I think there's other activities you can do. You just pay. You pay as you go, don't you? Yeah, but eight pounds to get in and that includes your parking isn't bad at all. That's not bad. Right, let's go and have a look. You can see the calico sign at the top of there, look. So yeah, this is the view from the car park. Completely different um, change of scenery from what we've had the last few days. It's awesome. So yeah, and we go. So there is a whole bunch of shops and restaurants here as well. It looks quite small, doesn't it? But apparently there's like, mm. what we've got here? One, two, three, four, five, there's six. There's a whole town worth of stuff. Yes, there is a whole town worth of stuff, yeah. And a saloon and a couple of restaurants and there's a train ride. Which is nice being seen something different, isn't it? Here's a list of all the shops they've got. Candle shops, leather shops, fossil and materials, rock shop, miners, old miners cafe, popcorn wagon, attractions, Maggie Mine Tour, Calico Odessa Railroad, Gold Panning Adventure, Mystery Shack Tour. Yeah, there's loads to do. We've only got a couple of hours here because we've got to get back for Horror Nights tonight. But there's loads to do. There's all like old timey cowboy music playing as well, which is really nice. So we've had an awesome few days, busy, 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 and we thought today would be the perfect day to come and do this, a bit more of a chilled one. Before the madness of Horror Nights tonight. As soon as you come in, there's a few shops there, leather works. That's the Calico House restaurant. Got ham, hock and beans, barbecue beef sandwiches, beef stew, buffalo burgers, home cooked meals, that's cool. And they got little ham hock. rocking chairs. You can sit and chill on them. Let's get this old fire truck up. An old timey fire truck. So we've got this big sign here about how Calico lives again. Today, Calico is one of the few remaining original mine towns in the Western USA, thanks to Mr. Walter Nutt, founder of Knott's Berry Farm, who generously donated Calico to the county in 1966. So Walter Nutt owns Knott's Berry Farm. So at their theme park, which we're going to next week, they actually have a cowboy town and it's called Calico, just like this one. So this is the real one. And they've got like a, a place named after it at Knott's Berry Farm. Got a notice board. Wife ran off with best friend and dog, if seen, send dog home. <laughs> so there's a few actual like remaining original buildings. That is one of them. So that is totally original, as it was back in the day. Just stopped in the Lane's General Merchandise. Standard magnet that we like to get. I'll show you later, it's in the bag now. And a nice ice cold. <laughs> I've just noticed it's called Glory Hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, just, I've just noticed it's called Glory Hole. Oh dear. Cream soda anyway, it's delicious. <laughs> photo studio, I guess that's where you can get these funny, funny old timey photos done. No, no smiling allowed. Surprisingly busy, like a, I don't know why, I just thought it'd be really, really quiet, but it's a nice atmosphere. There's a little bust. I assume that's Walter Nutt, dedicated to the Walter Nutt family in appreciation of their gift of Calico Ghost Town from the citizens of San Bernardino, San Bernardino County who pledged to continue the Nutt's work in the same spirit of authentic recreation. A candle shop, the Main Street stage, little saloon drugstore, Calico print, lots of signs and things. Got a sheriff's office. Let's have a look. Oh, you won't be able to see. Oh, maybe you can see in there, yeah. They've got some wanted posters and things on the wall. Come inside and see the way it used to be. Let's have a look, a little museum. Most of the people of Calico, the miners, merchants, and their families were hardworking, disabled folk, proud of the law and order, and usually absent in a boom town. Here are the ordinary items of home and life used by the ordinary folk who were at the heart of Calico. So we've got table, baking table, sorry. Barber's chair. 
and a very painful looking dental drill. So there's loads of different stores up each side. We've got a fossil and mineral shop, rock and gift shop. A lot of the stores have got signs outside saying please don't film inside, so we're not going to bother. Yeah, there's a lot of gift shops in there. Yeah. But again, the merch is really cool, so that's okay. Goes up further than I thought, to be honest with you. Oh. So we were parked all the way down there and we've walked up here. And it's still going. So here's a list of the prices for the attractions. The Mine Tour, $4.00. Adult Mystery Shack Tour, $4.00. Gold Pony Adventure, $4.00. This here is the Dorsey Dog House. It's named after the little postal dog. Oh no, it says R.I.P. Oh no. <laughs> well, I should be died by now. It was like 100 years ago. He retired in 1886. There he is. His little satchel. <laughs> so he'd run up and down the town with his post. Old Miner's Cafe. Food, drinks, snacks, beer and wine. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, let's go and have a look at the old miners' cafe. Getting a bit peckish. There's a look down through the town. So we stopped for a snack. They each got a corn dog. Pretty big. They were five dollars each. I got a beer, which was about I think it was about nine, was it? About nine dollars. And then got a soft cookie as well, which was a dollar. Nice little snack. Mm. These are so good. Cheers. <laughs> Fresh. There's loads of signs up about to look out for these birds as well. We've seen them in vlogs before where they just cross the road like no one's business. We haven't seen none yet, have we? No. It's over the school bridge. It is a very squeaky, wobbly, uneven bridge. And closer up to the sign up there, Calico. And that's an old schoolhouse. Yeah, it's really nice here. You do proper feel like you've stepped into uh, an old timey cowboy town, it's brilliant. There's loads of really awesome viewpoints. Just climb up to the top of this one. Wow, there we go. So that's where we parked the car down there, we walked up here. You've got the train and the mine on the other side of that mountain. Unfortunately, we're not going to have the uh, time to do them today. There's the schoolhouse. That's where we've just been eating. This is where the hotel was back in the day. The Hyena House Hotel. It was said to have been a four-storey structure built into an overhanging cliff with natural cavities in the rock formation serving as living spaces and exterior walls made mostly from the staves of barrels. So that's this, built into the rock. That's pretty strange. So yeah, it would have been there, just built into that rock. Right, so we're heading to the lookout point. There's one there and one even higher up as well. Good for photo spots. So there's all of the town down there. Where we've just walked up. There's the train. We ain't got time for today, unfortunately. And the mine tour goes in mm -hmm. down there somewhere, I'm sure it does. This little stage area down there as well must be used for something. You can camp here, bring your RVs and things. Yeah, this has been a nice change of scenery. Nice and chilled. Actually, more to do here than I thought there'd be as well. And there's a calico sign at the top. Mm -hmm. I like the sign, look how like crude it is, like it's been hand drawn. I know, but you can see it for you see it for miles, miles yeah. Right, let's get down. These are treacherous cliffs. So we're just walking back down the hill, just been in the Dorsey Dog shop that was open. That was really cool. The woman was really nice in there, had a nice chat with like her. Different types of sugar cookies, but like dog friendly dog versions, friendly, like yeah. candy corn and ghosts. They must have had like 30 different varieties. Yeah, it's yeah. So cool. We're showing the Dorsey dog, didn't we? Yeah, he was the, the postal dog. He used to run up and down the town, and she reckons she's got a theory that he was a military dog and would have got lost because that breed of dog wasn't out here at that time. Yeah, so, collies yeah. weren't really a thing, so. So he probably got lost. Yeah, so we haven't got time for this today, but down here is where the Attractions are, two of them anyway, Maggie Moyne and the Odessa Railroad. Let's just go and have a quick look. They also do Calico Ghost Tours, you would have liked that. Paranormal activity. Yeah. Tours are the truest account to Calico's history and paranormal activity that have been compiled. Choose from three unique tours, Main Street, Maggie Moyne or Schoolhouse. That's pretty cool. You would have liked that. I know, next time. Houses made out of the uh, 
at the rock. Oh, look at this bottle house. Actually, it goes on for it goes on for ages, don't it? Because that was the strip just there. We just walked up, and then you've got all these houses in the rock. There's one over there. <laughs> the strip, you know what I mean? The main, the main street. It's the <laughs> coast house <laughs> strip. Oh, good boy. Right. What's the deal with this? Who knows? It looks cool. They're all glasses. Uh, bottles. Oh, okay. So that's the Maggie Mine up there. Up, up there is where you start going down the mines, the Maggie Mine. You can see all the little buildings built into the rock. Let me zoom in over there. Right there's one. So strange. I'll watch where I'm going, so trip over. It's all very hazardous. So there's the Maggie Mine tour in there. There's the train up the top. It's so peaceful, isn't it? Considering there is actually a few more people here than I thought there would be, but it's still really peaceful. Yeah, so you can camp here um, and bring your RVs and things. I wonder if this is, I wonder if they use this for that. Silver bowl. You can get married here as well. Weddings is on their uh, website. Be a nice place for a wedding. I like all the bits like your fake, like dirty washing and stuff like hanging out. That's really cool. That's really nice. So it's a shame we have only got couple of hours here because there's a lot more you could do so yeah that's about it for us here I'm gonna take a slow walk back to the car yeah yeah it's been cool there's been uh, more people here than I thought there'd be which is nice there's a nice atmosphere but it's still nice and chilled nice and relaxed there's a lot of history in this place in fact the lady was telling us weren't she that the calico town that's in Knott's Bray Farm which we'll see next week all the wood to build that was from here that's really nice yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed that. So it is, it is a two-hour drive from where we were, North Hollywood. That was worth it. Yeah. It's nice. But you could have come for that. Well, we could have stayed for a few hours. You can have lunch here and, you know, do all the tours and things. And it's not expensive. But we've got other plans this evening, scary plans. So we need to get back. But very, very glad we came to visit Calico. So Calico was really nice, mm. really glad we went. So it is a, about a two hour drive from where we are in North Hollywood, but um, it was worth it, it was nice. It was nice having a chilled day. Yeah. So we've done the beaches the other day, so it was nice today to have a little drive out into the like into the desert. And the town itself was really, really cool. Okay. Actually, um, we, we only had a couple of hours there, so we didn't have time to do the activities, but the activities look really good. And I'm really jealous of the people that turning up with the RVs, <laughs> camping out there. That looks yeah. really cool. So yeah, it was nice. Yeah, nice day. So it's only a short vlog, um, because tonight we are off to Halloween Horror Night, so that will yeah. be in a separate video. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really excited for that. So we are going to go and get ready for that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.